to listen to you, but I mean, then when I try to get into it, you just walk away from it, so. Well, it's like we talk and talk, but nothing changes until I lose it. Uh, there's got to be a way, better way than this. How do we fix it? Absolutely, there is a better way. There is a better way, and we're going to get into that. <laughs> All right, conflict resolution. We have pastors Bruce and Yvette Van. They're going to bring it to you uh, on the real tip. Praise God. Well, praise the Lord. We are back with the Vans and man. Last, last one, we talked about communication. Yes. And really, they were dropping some wisdom on the communication. And uh, man, we just so thankful for uh, the time you spend just imparting life in somebody else's relationship. Yes. You know, that's what it's really all about. And right. so, you know, in dealing with communication, oftentimes you deal with conflict resolution. Mm -hmm. And so this is April. So we're dealing with conflict resolution. If there's a theme to it, it's going to be like, uh, fighting fair or fighting foolish, you know, and uh, some people say we, we don't fight, uh, we and we just argue. Well, we don't argue, we have aggressive conversation, wow. okay? <laughs> All right, and you know, I, I, I'm not talking about violent activity, but but there's some conflict, and yeah. as long as you are joined together in holy matrimony. Uh, you know, uh, Cheryl said it like this. She says, iron sharpen iron. Mm -hmm. And when iron sharpen iron, sparks fly. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and sometimes sparks fly, you know? And yeah. so, you you know, the longer you are married, hopefully uh, you get better at managing them sparks so you don't start no fire. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you actually want to sharpen something, you know what I'm saying? And not just, you know, start sparking stuff up. And so uh, we are excited to get into this conversation uh, for this month. It's going to help, oh man, you know it's going to help a lot of people. Uh, I don't really know. We, we, we were in a marriage fellowship and uh, so we had the benefit of coming together and dealing with some of these issues in a marriage, or some, kind of like a small group setting in a marriage fellowship with you guys as a matter of fact. Yeah. And uh, we would come together, but a lot of people don't have that today. Yeah. You know? And this may be the only opportunity that uh, they get to hear uh, some wisdom on, on how to uh, manage uh, the conflict in their uh, relationship. So I want to turn it over to you guys uh, for y'all to kind of share your truth. All right. Okay. You go first. You want to go first, baby? Yeah. Okay. Um, the, how about the question? Say the question again, baby. How do you manage conflict? Okay. And the reason why I asked to, to uh, repeat it is because the first thing that pops in my mind back when um, 17 years ago or so, um, we were uh, going to have a house refinanced for 15 years. And at the time, baby and I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm working diligently, working hard, a lot of pressure going back and forth, driving 35 miles, 60 miles a day and dealing with employees and all kinds of things is going on. And so I'm, I'm literally in a, what you call a pressure zone. My mind is, okay, I'm here but I'm not really, really here. And so in the midst of it, uh, baby wanted to get, get the house refinanced. And so what I found in that given situation was um, I had to look at the pros and cons of the situation. Uh, I had to weigh the difference of the situation. Uh, but, but, but the main thing, I'm trying to get my heart and my mind to be praying about it. And because it was uh, it was very it was very hard to get in the attitude of prayer to pray about a decision that affects both of us. So I was very I was uh, you know like I'm saying I'm, I'm working in it and I'm and, and all types of pressure that I'm dealing with, and I had to get my mind in an area of to be able to pray. Okay, this decision about having a house refinancing, I needed to slow it down and just hear from God, and I said, Lord give me wisdom what to do because in my mind uh i'm i'm fine the way it is but if <laughs> i know my you know what i mean I, i'm fine but in, in baby's mind that is a this is a good decision to make 
So as she gave me the pros and cons, uh, all I kept saying, I said, I said we can't afford it. I mean, no. Uh, and then she broke it down to me, says, well, it's only, you're only paying a little bit more in order to get it refinanced. Uh, and, and, and that way you have, have paid off in 15 years. And so the 15 years stuck in my mind. Okay, this is, this, you know, but it, but it was hard for me to get there. I'm expressing it now because I learned from it. What was it? This was the conflict that affect both of us and it's gonna help both of us in the long run. And all of a sudden, so as she gave me the pros and cons and as she began to break it down and as I could quiet my spirit to hear how God wanted us to navigate the situation, uh, the Lord was glorified. We got the, we decided to go together in agreement and get the 15 year market. And as once we got the 15 year market, right now we are totally uh, house free. We don't have a house note. It's all because that we took our time, all because that I asked God, how do you want me to do this? What is it that you want us to do? And at the beginning, my mind wasn't there, but I had to kind of slow my spirit down and to hear from God and what I need to do and how to uh, navigate the situation. So I got to give it back to kudos to baby because uh, she it was her persuasion for me to do this. And it was the best thing that we could have ever done 15, 17 years ago for paying the house. So. Well, one thing he left out was a very important factor is that um, in, in that conflict, um, this was the decision, once the decision was made, it was going to cost a house note to increase. Yeah. Even though the, sh the term is shorter, the monthly amount is going to be increased. Right. So, um, in the natural, you know, he's looking at, well, we here, we pay X over here, and now you want us to go over yeah. here and pay this. Yeah. Uh, you know, your first thought is not, why should we do that? Well, we don't want, want to put out another 100, 20, 100, whatever it yeah. was. Why should we do that? But then as I explained, this, this being a conflict, um, it's because, dear, you, you're missing the point. The point is in this situation is you're shaving off 10 years yeah. of payments. Yeah. What's another 100 bucks a, a month when you're getting rid of 10 years of yeah. payment? 120 payments, yeah. you know, so to speak. Um, that's that we had to come to in this case this was a financial conflict yeah and um we need to come together i hope that you found that scripture uh where the lord said in the scripture come let us reason we, yes I had there to you reason. go there you go i had to we, come to reason we have to reason with one yeah. another not arguing not you know we we need to be able to clearly express why something is important, why you see this is a value for the both of us, Absolutely. not just for me, mm -hmm. but for the both of us. And then from there, we can hopefully, prayerfully come to some form of agreement. Um, and so that was an example that he gave. But, um, you know, I, when I think of conflict uh, in marriage, the fact is we're going to have conflict. And one of the reasons is because we come from two different upbringings. I, his mother and father wasn't mine and vice versa. And so what is completely normal over there in the Van household wasn't normal in the Todd household. And, um, you know, he may do something. I'm like, well, what in the world? Why are you doing that? Or I might say, what are you, you know, what are you doing that for? Oh, don't do that. You know, we have to come to sit and explain uh, share with one another why we uh, we do certain things or why we perceive things the way that they are. And um, in conflict resolution, if I care and love enough, love him enough, I, I should want to seek, even though I right, now, I right now might feel like, man, we can't, I can't get two words in. You know, I just can't get one word in, you know, but if, if we, we are, if, if we, are, we have a love for the other one, we should ask God to help us Absolutely. to find a way to communicate yes. and even pray for the other one. So Lord, help him, give him a heart that he can hear and give me a heart that I can hear. Because when we're angry, to be honest, 
Ain't nothing getting done. The, the hearing is, is <laughs> blind. Ain't nothing happening. The, the hearing Nowhere. Is, is blind and it's yeah. going out the window, you yeah. know. Um, <laughs> and we don't, I don't, I don't want to hear nothing, but I don't want no words to be spoken by mine. But my words are important. You know, that's the attitude that we have. Yeah. And so we have to roll it back. And we, we got to, in conflict resolution, we got to be willing to hear the other one. Yes. Didn't say you agreed with them at that moment, but you gotta be, we gotta close our mouths and hear the other one. Mm. That's called love. Yeah. That's called mm. respect. Yeah. I, 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 what, what amazes me is that as I look at this hindsight, there's so much information that I've learned through the midst of all this of how to deal with conflicts. But in, in the midst of it, the priority thing is okay, uh, prayer is the key thing. Okay, God. But, but at that time, prayer was not the priority of my mind. No, sir. The priority of my mind was dealing with, uh, I got to deal with that employee that next morning. Or uh, I got to travel for 60 miles to work. Uh, I got to deal with this situation, pay this bill. Uh, what, what happened and all those priorities was in my mind. And so I had to kind of put my heart and my mind in a state where I can hear God. And I had to get my heart right. Uh, Bible says, creating me a clean heart and renew a what? Right spirit. I had to get my spirit right. There you go. Yeah, I really had to get my spirit right because I'm telling you, I was so caught up into what, and that's how God created man to work. Okay. That's, that's, we, we're going to do that. Man's going to do that. But there's a time when we have to uh, do things in balance. And as we do things in balance, uh, you know, God will work things out. Got a scripture for you uh, found in the book of Ephesians chapter 4. It says, let no unwholesome words proceed out of your mouth, mm. but only that which is good for building up, that it may give grace to the listener. When I'm giving, I mean, we got to build one another up. We got to encourage one another. Mm. And, we, and and baby said it earlier, uh, verse uh, 31 says, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and outburst blaspheme with all malice be taken away from you. Verse 32 and be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, just as God in Christ's sake has forgiven me. You gotta be tenderhearted, you gotta be caring, you gotta be gentle with one another. Uh, and I, I thank God that, uh, that that baby was sensitive enough for we to come together to for this solution uh, that it was better for both of us, you know? And now it's like, woo -hoo -hoo! we don't have no house no, you know. <laughs> right now she's over hitting because I got excited. Woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> so she's been trying to calm my woo -hoo -hoo a little bit. It's all right though. I love her. I understand. <laughs> oh. you do, when you tore up that dang on Morgan, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was shouting yeah. time. That was shouting time. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it was. Yeah. But you know, well, I, one thing that I, I really enjoy hearing you say. Uh, especially for the, the newlyweds um, and folks that's only been married for the first seven years of their marriage and still trying to navigate these waters and still trying to work this stuff out. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you're saying 17 years ago, uh, mm -hmm. well, you were already in 23 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you're still navigating. You're still developing. You're yep. still, you know, um, mm -hmm. yeah. figuring out how best to make this thing work. I yeah. love the fact that you said, and both of you said this, um, that the first consultation is going to have to be with God. When you're at odds, when you when you don't agree, you yeah. obviously do not agree. Yeah. You know, she's on one side, you're on the other side, and it's going to have to be a discussion. You're going to have to come to the table. We're going to yeah. have to, yeah. you can't avoid it. You yeah. Have to, you yeah. got to deal with it. And in those situations, you know, you want to take the earplugs out. You know, yeah. and the only oh, yeah. way to take them earplugs out is to, like you said, uh, I love that renew a right spirit with me. Yeah. And come, let us reason together attitude. Yeah. Not knowing that two can't walk together except yeah. they agree. Agree. Yeah. You got to get your mind right. Yes. Thank you. you. Know, before you enter the conversation, yeah. because if you're coming home and you done been driving 60 miles, you're dealing with crazy employees. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got all this stuff, and that's not even talking about what's, what she done dealt with. Right. It's not, I mean, it's on her job and yeah. with her people and right. whatever else is going on, you yeah. know, in, in your family, in your world. Um, yeah. Life is happening. 
yeah. you know it's it's real and and but but that should not impede hinder or or uh, cause our conversation uh to be low priority yeah, yeah. you know we always should give each other precedence you know yeah. and give each other respect like you talk about kindness you yeah. know and, and watching that our words are seasoned with salt in other words um watch how we talk to each other you know what yeah. i mean and i talk out of our, our tiredness our feelings <laughs> yeah. our emotions you know yeah. because it's easy to do it's very so, easy yeah 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 it's easy to do we made a um this is i don't know if i mentioned this or not or whether i mentioned it at church but there was a time when um when i was working and i would I worked at the police department, so every day was, God only knows what the day was. You know, it was never boring, believe me. And so you deal with citizens, phone calls, all kinds of issues, people to come in, just all kinds of things. And so um, it's, it can be very, it, it was very stressful. But then leaving work, then I have to go pick up my son. Yeah. Okay, and then as a little kid, it's like, oh, mama, this happened to me, and you know, I'm hungry and whatever else they may be saying. And then I would come home and walk in the door. And this was the days before cell phones and caller ID. I know we're sounding old, but before there was caller ID, he would call no sooner than I get in the door. So this is talking about re resolving conflict because see, this was a conflict for me because I had a few minutes of transition from work to pick up a child from picking up a child and his issues of the day to, you know, I'm hungry and now I got to think about cooking and all of that. And then he, the phone is ringing and he's telling me, I said, dear heart, I love you. I really do. But you're going to have to stop calling me at 530. <laughs> I said, because, I, you know, I'm just coming in the door and it's like, bam, 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 bam. You know, one thing to the other. I said, dear, I love you. I know you want to talk. And, and all of that, but this is this is a problem. I said, please, I'm gonna have to ask you, please don't call before 6.30. Yeah. Now that wasn't because I said, I want to be the best person I can mm -hmm. be for you. And at 5.30, I'm not the best person. I said, cause I haven't even had any transition time for me. I mean, really three minutes or so, five minutes of that. I said, you, to, to resolve this instead of me, you calling or you feeling like I'm biting your head off. Please, I'm, I'm letting you know what's going on. What's going on is I've got to have a little bit of transition time. Please call between 6.30 or 7. I said things would be better. Yeah. BG would have eaten. I would have had a few minutes to myself before, you know, before long, then it's time to get him in the bathtub. So I said, I, I want to be the best person I can. So please, you know, this is not against you, you know, just please work with me on this. And so that was a practice that we had to come to, Yeah, we sure you know, did. and there, I mean, it's very important sometimes instead of we feeling like, oh, I got this fire thing in my mouth I got to tell you about, look at the table and see from the other person's view what the equation is, Right. you know, look at it and then roll it back. It, it's it's going to be all right. You, it'll keep, you'll still be able to tell him or her you know, whatever is whatever. But we, we, we just got to think about the timing when we approach our spouse with certain things, because it, that is very, very important. And, and I, you know, you we want to give each other our best attention. Absolutely. We really do. Uh, in, in that, uh, back in the, I know we talked 40 years ago, but it's still good. Uh, the, the fact of 630, 634 to 7, you were the better person. And I got that. Yeah. It took me a little while to catch it, but because I was ready to go, it is, it is, it is. But I got it. I got it. And it was the best thing we could have ever done for us. And everybody, and so, everybody, that worked for us. Yeah. That and so I would us. say this in my response to trying to resolve this, this as a conflict, uh, the scripture comes to my mind, Proverbs 15, 1, mm. which says, a soft answer turns in wrath, but in harsh words stirs up anger. So I said, dear, mm. I really love you, and I want you to hear me right now. Please understand, I, I look forward to talking to you, I really do, but I'm going to need a few more minutes, a little bit more time, 
so that I can adequately talk to you and be the best person that I can. Yeah. And so it was in that, it was in that, you know, that, you know, it was received. Yeah. You know, it, it wasn't, was, it, was, it really it was, wasn't it was. something that he was looking for, yeah. but because of my tone and, and I expressed to him how important this was and how it would help me to yeah. be a better person than you. Absolutely. You know, this is this, we can solve this conflict instead of saying, well, you don't never listen to me. I call you every day at 530 and you ain't got time to talk to me and you know, all of this. That's, that's not the issue. Understand what's going on at hand and then we can peacefully move forward. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's yeah. good, baby. Um, I believe also be very strongly in a marriage. There's, there's got to be one of the, one of the, uh, in the, in the marriage, Somebody need to be what you call the peacemaker. We both need to be peacemakers. Yeah. We think, both. I, I, no, we, I know we both, but somebody at least needs to be one or be a peacemaker. That peacemaker, well, okay. So yeah. if one ain't got no peace, somebody better have some peace <laughs> and be ready to Amen. make some peace. Yeah, Amen. right, right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 <laughs> Um, the other thing I was I would say that uh, you know in James four one through six it talks about um, basically what causes fighting among you. Oh, quarreling. Yeah. Yeah, we're fighting and warring with one another. What is it that causes mm. warring among That's you? Good. It's really so when you really look at whatever is at hand, oftentimes it's because we're coveting something. I feel like I deserve it. Mm. I should have it. It's my idea mm. or whatever. Or sometimes we don't realize it. We're jealous of the other one. Mm. We can be jealous because your spouse has that kind of a gift. He has that kind of a gift. She has this kind of, well, I can't do it as good as him. Or he can't do it as good as me. And we, we don't realize it, that the devil is coming in to cause this conflict and to cause this, uh, well, with jealousy, uh, insecurity. Mm. And we need to step back and say, you better examine yourself. Yes. Are you, yeah. why are you jealous of him because of whatever mm. or vice versa? We have no need, we are one. Yeah. We have no reason Absolutely, to be baby. jealous of either. We just need to acknowledge, hey, you're gifted, uh, God anointed you and blessed you to flow with that or to do this. You have this gift, you have that talent, great. I'm gonna root it on, you know, and vice versa. We we don't need to feel insecure. Right, so there's uh, no need to compete or no, feel insecure. None at all. Exactly, yeah. and some, some couples get into that competition thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. that causes yeah. conflict. Big, big conflict. Yeah. Yes. It's sad, or you know, you, of course you have the family dynamics. It's like, okay, well, you're always doing something for your family, and then when I ask to do whatever the something is, then it's a problem, and that creates a conflict. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas we just need to, I think, some conflicts they can be quashed if we, as a couple, say, let's define what we can do when it comes to our families. Mm -hmm. Let's define it. Mm -hmm. I call okay. that rules of engagement. Right. Yes. Let's yeah. let's talk about it because mm -hmm. of course, my sister's my sister, my brother, my mama, whoever, and vice versa. Obviously, we each have our own personal connection, mm -hmm. um, and it means more. I mean, the, the relationships mean something different to us. But we have to have, uh, as far as conflict resolution, we need to put it on the table and define. Mm -hmm. Well, as a couple. You know, when it comes to our families, what do what what do we agree on that we can help or support or, or whatever? Right. And then when it's going beyond that, mm -hmm. we have to just in love say that's you know that's not something we can help you with, mm -hmm. or this is as far as we can go with that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that cuts that out, yeah. and that adds also boundaries. Yes, yes, yes. yes. loving boundaries. Loving boundaries because you know family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. But sometimes there's some unrealistic demands yeah. from family members, and it's like I love you, but that that's not working for my household. Exactly. Exactly. If I to respect my household. You may not understand it. You may not yeah. appreciate it. But that's this true. is something that we have established for our household, and that's it. You know, and we don't need to feel bad about it. 
No, no, that's healthy. This is just what we yeah, we yeah. have decided what what is good for our for us. Yeah. So those are some ideas. I mean, some thoughts that I have on conflict. You know, on the same on the same uh, vein that you were talking about, that is selfishness. Yes. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. If one party is being selfish, mm -hmm. um, or um, they're not really valuing or appreciating the other or taking the other for granted. Yeah. Um, that's that type of stuff can nip away yeah. and start uh, planting seeds yeah. of, um, of anger, de depression, discouragement, um, anxiety, stress. And what happens? Eventually, there's going to be conflict. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you can only take so much of that so long, you know. Yeah. And so I think it's really good that uh, you have that transparency early. And you have that vulnerability early. I mean, you, for you to sit down and let him know early, yeah. this will help our relationship. Absolutely. It will help me, and it's going to help you. And yeah. then, you know, put the cards on the table. A yes. lot of times, we set the environment for, for what is going to happen when everybody gets in the house. Mm -hmm. We set that stage, you know. We set that atmosphere. And uh, I remember Angie used to do that when I used to love coming home um, uh, when I was in the military because I knew I was going to have a hot meal, you know, everything was going to be in this place. I mean, peaceful, de-stress. I mean, it was like a sanctuary, you know. Yeah, and, I could that. And, and baby could cook too. Well, y'all know. <laughs> no, no. This was before I started working. <laughs> yeah, this was before she started working. I was working, she wasn't working. But she was handling it. Yeah, she was working. I think about that. I mean, yeah. all that she was doing, she was working. Yeah, when, when mm -hmm. I started working at, you know, yeah, we yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. And they just, just set the stage. And then, of course, um, when she started working, um, the, the rules of engagement had to change. Yes. yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. and we have to be flexible. We have to be able to adaptable. Uh, right. We have to adjust to um, life circumstances and situations. And always have the rules of engagement. Okay, baby, um, this is what's going to keep peace in our home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is what's going to keep peace between me and you. Um, yeah. And and that's so valuable and that's so important. You know, you can't can't underscore that. Yeah, because then he started cooking. We started cooking together. Uh, All right. Oh, you know, I think most of the time, I think we got home pretty much almost the same time, and so we would cook together. He would fix the meat and I fix the vegetables. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. That's good. Got on the grill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Instead of coming home and, and demanding yeah. Yeah. that yeah. she she got the meals. That's your role. That's your responsibility. You know, and we're just going to flex, put the authoritarian hat on and that's how it's going to go. And and then so, you know, that's ridiculous. You know, yeah. you know what, uh, I can't hear from any Jack here. Uh, the biggest thing I remember about something that Angel fixed was some cabbage. Lord have mercy, it was good. You had to get rebaptized after that. I remember. <laughs> oh, it was good. It pays to get married to a cook. I'm telling you, they were throwing down. And you know, I don't know what it's about food that that quells arguments and anger <laughs> and wrath. And you know, and you know, when you read the scriptures, and where where does quarreling come from? You don't see food. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't see nice hot meals. And, I mean, it don't come from that. You know, you, you put a good meal on the table. It's like, folk might come home feeling some kind of way, but, you know, the atmosphere changed. Yes, and, you, know, you know, in my in my years now, um, Angel is working, um, and I'm pastoring, but most of what I'm doing is at home. And so I have more opportunity um, to prepare the atmosphere for her so that when mm -hmm. she gets home, she can de-stress, de yes. she can transition, yes. and she ain't got to worry about, you know, washing dishes and cooking food and all this other kind of stuff. You know, she can kind of kind of relax, you know, and yeah. uh, transition in there. And, and uh, it, just, it just blesses me uh, because there was a time in our relationship where I wasn't there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I wasn't there. And so uh, I just praise God that, um, you know, wisdom, with, with age comes wisdom, you know? Yeah. Well, you grow together and you learn one another. 
um, I don't know if this had anything to do with the class now, but what was major to me about baby, whenever, whenever there, uh, if, if, if baby see, uh, um, nobody can speak to me like my beloved. There's certain things she can tell me and it's like a literally light bulb. And I go, oh, wow. I'm just gonna just give you a little one, little one. This, this uh, past week that happened. So um, I was talking to uh, a, uh, a, uh, a telemarketer, uh, uh, somebody, something that I had to deal with uh, on, on the telephone, uh, calling the, the clerk up and said, this is what uh, you overcharged me here, uh, this and that, you know, so forth. And uh, my darling bride reminded me and told me, after I got off the phone, she said, why were you so mean to that woman? I, I told him, I hope he didn't tell her she, he was a pastor. <laughs> I hope he didn't say you were a pastor. <laughs> she said, why were you so mean? And so I had to really examine myself, and I really was. And then the thought occurred to me, why was that mean? And the reason why I was mean, because over these many years of working with so many special customers, I've had some drama city in, um, from Vol working with customers, in my mind, I'm extremely patient and kind and gentle. And uh, all these crazy people that I had to deal with, I'm now finding myself venting to somebody else. Mm. So, but, he, he raining down on somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it took her to tell me, to remind me of that. I, That's what I love. I love you. Yeah. And then I, you know, I, which goes to another point that I, I, I've got noted here. That you know there are times in conflict um that conflict wasn't directed at me but i heard the conflict in his voice and i you know i shared with him what i said but you know in conflict we got to be willing to admit that we were wrong yeah oh. times when yeah. i'm wrong yeah. i'm wrong yeah. you know i gotta own it yeah. i and wrong. wrong, yeah, you know, yeah, and, and vice versa. I'm not here to point the finger and say, but I, I have to own my wrong and I have to get it right before God. That's right. Um, nobody is right all the time. Yeah, yeah. And um, and I think some of the times that we, when it comes to conflict, um, because we came up differently, our experiences are different. Mm. We come to the table with these experiences, and we can be. I mean, I'll just use an example. You know, if I came from a family where, oh, you've got to get your education, and you and you need to end up with a PhD, if, if that's what my background is, and he comes along and says, well, you know, that's nice, but I mean, I don't see why you have to have a PhD. That's nice. I mean, if the Lord allows you to get it, great, but it's not in the forefront of him. But for me, it's like, oh, we got to put all our money and our eggs over here on education. And by this time, you should have this degree and you should be doing that and, and all of this. But we need to, I need, as a couple, we need to roll it back yeah. and say, that's nice that that's, I respect your family's background and all of that. But what is right for us? Mm. What is right for us? And then I have to say, okay, well, yeah, I was a little, harsh on that and I'm, I'm wrong to push it to push that so far and so um you know but it, it could be anything there are times when we're just wrong we're just wrong and the holy spirit deals with us absolutely and he speaks absolutely. to you when the other one can't hear it yeah. Yeah. Like, you know yeah. you were wrong yeah my daughter you're wrong yeah. you know god when it pleased with that you yeah. are wrong and at times i have to humble myself yeah. and say Please forgive me. I'm, I was wrong on this note. And and that's that's just something. As if we say we want to grow together, we say we want to walk in peace together. We have to we have to go there. We have yeah. to humble. We have to humble ourselves in the relationship, which will reduce the conflict resolution. Yeah. 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 I think that's a power move. In the yeah, relationship. that's awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Mama, you got any thoughts? The only thought I, I have is this was uh, such uh, good uh, words of wisdom. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought, oh, this is really good. This is really good words of wisdom. And uh, so those, those are my thoughts. This was really good. Mm -hmm. Amen. That said it all right there. Good words of wisdom. 
So take a moment and look at the reflection questions. Um, and what stood out to you in the dialogue? How does this um, dialogue help you in your situation, in your circumstance? What key points or main points can you get out of it that will help your marriage last, thrive, and be successful? These reflection questions are also on our webpage at stillwaterschurch.org. You can also find them on our Facebook page as well. So uh, if you don't, if you don't, have time to write them down or uh, you can always uh, email me if you'd like them to. I'd send them to you uh, if you'd like that as well. Well, that's all we have for you today. Uh, we hope you all really enjoyed ATM, all things marriage. No deposit and guess what? No return.